Hi everyone, it's uh, Eugene Lucio, and today I'd like to show you how you can remote access your scanner so that you can download scans. Now, in another video that I did, I showed how you can easily uh, remotely control the scanner, um, but this time what I want to be able to show you is how to actually download uh, files from the scanner. Now, um, it's pretty easy to do, it's just uh, you need to know what to look at. So, uh, I'm going to do the remote access first, and so that's actually 192.168.111.2 and then colon 8400. If we hit that, we should be able to get in. And I've got the scanner active here beside me, okay, which looks good. Now, oh boy, I'm really low on battery power, so hopefully I got one shot at this. Um, what I want to be able to do now is if you go into the manage window and down to general settings, down to WLAN, and look over here, way down at the bottom, uh, you have your uh, where is it here? Your IP address, which is what you're going to be using to connect, and it's somewhere there is the. There you go. The encryption key is what you're going to need to access this if you haven't done this already. But what we want is actually when you're in the uh, general settings, go way down at the bottom, and there we go. And it says remote access to scans. Now, normally by default, this is off. Okay, so if I shut it off, there we go. And there's a note here, it says enable to get remote access to the scans, yada, 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 yada. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that's on. You get a warning here, risk of data loss. Please only use if you're about to access scan files via network. Absolutely make sure not to remove the SD card until remote access is disabled again. So um, keep that in mind. And so now it is on. And that's really the biggest thing. A lot of people don't know that this button is down here. Uh, it's sort of in a, an obscure place. It, I would have expected it to be. Uh, more where it says the WLAN. Uh, and normally when you turn on the LAN, you automatically have remote access once you uh, put in the proper address up here. But if you try to access the scans folder, you don't. You have to turn that button on. Okay, so I think that's clear. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start a scan. So it's going to go ahead and start scanning. And what I want to do is show you that you can access files while you are scanning. So um, what I need to do now is open up a Windows Explorer here. And the address here is pretty much the same. It's going to be 192.168, uh, 111.2, and then backslash scans. You want to get into the scans folder. So we'll do that. Hit enter. And let's see if it gets me there. Uh, just give it a second. Oh, it's thinking about it. There we go, so we're in now. It is scanning right now, so uh, we'll double click on the scans folder and I've got a number of scans that are here. Now, I'm not gonna download obviously the one that I'm working on right now, but all the others are available. So what I will do is, um, I'm gonna move this down lower, so you'll see it. I'm gonna close the other, minimize the other window. I'm gonna grab a file and just drag it onto the desktop and it'll say, give me a warning here. Yeah, harmful to computer, no problem. I already have this. Uh, file don't download it. I was doing a test. Actually, let me do a, a second one. I'll do this one here, 146. Give me the warning, sure, no problem, and now start copying. So uh, this will show you the scan time. Now these are these scans I'm downloading are at one fifth, uh, three times quality, so 105 megabytes, and you'll see that it's not too bad in terms of speed. It is still scanning right now, um, so not too too bad. But let's just wait to see until this goes down and see how much time it takes. Almost there. And there you go. So it's now copied. I open up this file. You'll see that I have all the regular uh, things that I would normally expect to see inside the scan folder and such. Okay, well, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you. It's not that difficult to do at all. Uh, you'll see it's still scanning here, but that is how you get remote access to your scans folder.